In the previous video, I explained how data streams from IoT devices directly to Power BI. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to stream data from Node-RED to Power BI. As an example, we'll focus on reading PZEM sensor data for energy monitoring purposes. I'm using ESP8266 to read PZEM sensor data such as voltage, current, power, and other parameters. The readings result from the PZEM sensor will be published to an MQTT broker using a Wi-Fi connection in JSON format. Next, I'm utilizing Node-RED as a subscriber to receive the data sent by ESP to the MQTT broker. The data received by Node-RED will be displayed on the Node-RED dashboard using visual line charts and gauges. Following that, Node-RED will send data to the Power BI push URL using an HTTP POST request node. The data received by Power BI will be displayed on a dashboard, and a report. It's the wiring setup of ESP8266 and PZEM. Additionally, an LCD is utilized to display changes in the readings from the PZEM sensor. The measured load is an inverter that drives a motor. This is the ESP code in the Arduino IDE. This code is designed to read values from the PZEM sensor and display them on an LCD. Additionally, some of these reading parameters will be sent to an MQTT broker using the JSON format. For this code, I'll share a link in the video description where you can download it. This is the node red flow to receive messages from the MQTT broker and display the data on a dashboard. The first node is configured as an MQTT input node. Set up the MQTT configuration according to your settings, such as the IP address, topic, and other relevant details. The next node is a function node that stores the MQTT results into different payloads. Afterwards, it forwards them to both a line chart node and a gauge node to display the results for each parameter. This is the node red dashboard interface that will display parameters such as voltage, current, power, and energy using gauges and line charts. The next step is to open the Power BI service to create a streaming dataset. Click on New, select Streaming Dataset, then choose API. Fill in the dataset name and define the value data streams for each parameter that Power BI will receive. Upon completing the creation of the streaming dataset, you'll receive a push URL and a JSON format that Node-RED needs to send for Power BI to interpret and read. In the Node-RED flow, I've added a function node to create a payload in JSON format that adheres to the Power BI format. This payload contains the specified parameters to be sent, including the date time. Subsequently, this payload will be sent to the Power BI using an HTTP request node in Node-RED. Select the POST method, and fill in the URL with the PUSH URL obtained from the Power BI streaming dataset. Return to the Power BI service and create a dashboard using the streaming dataset that has been created. Click on Add Tile, scroll down. Select Custom Streaming Data under Real-Time Data, then choose the dataset. Afterward, select the visualization type and the values to be displayed. Next, select the time window to display. I'll choose 15 minutes. Click Next, then Apply. Afterward, adjust the size and position of the created line chart. 
repeat the same steps to display other parameters. Thus, we've successfully created a real-time streaming dataset dashboard displaying parameters such as voltage, current, and power. The dashboard will dynamically update according to the values sent by Node-RED. In addition to creating a real-time dashboard, we can also generate a report. Ensure that in the streaming dataset, the historic data analysis is on. Thank you for watching. To stay updated with our upcoming videos, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. See you in the next video.